Yeah, Tuesdays with Stories is also brought to you by Feels CBD. It's winter. The days are shorter. The thermometer is frozen. And it's also probably the time of year you lessen your self-care. Take care of yourself by reducing stress, anxiety, and pain with Feels CBD. I love Feels. I keep it in the cupboard. I probably take it every gosh darn night just to get a little snooze in because I can't sleep. My brain won't shut up. Feels calms me down. It relaxes me without getting you high. Love feels. Get on it. Keep it around the house. You never know when you'll need it. CBD naturally helps reduce stress, anxiety, and pain, and sleeplessness. Feels knows that everyone is different and that finding your right dose is important. That's why they offer a free CBD hotline to help find your perfect dose. The Feels customer service team is dedicated to making sure you get the best use of your CBD. Just place a few drops of Feels under your tongue and feel the difference. They even have infused mints. There's no hangover, no addiction. Join the Feels monthly membership, and it makes your self-care easy. Save money on every order and pause or cancel any time. It's hassle-free. Deliver directly to your door. Start feeling better with Feels. Become a member today by going to feels.com slash Tuesdays, and you'll get 40% off your first three months with free shipping. Holy hell, that's F-E-A-L-S. Dot com slash Tuesdays to become a member and get 40 clams. 40% automatically taken off your first three months with free shipping. Feels.com slash Tuesdays. Feels a better way to feel better. Tuesdays with Stories is also brought to you by Manscaped. Want to make your balls shine like Rudolph's nose? The Manscaped Performance Package 4.0 will make all your holiday dreams come true. Love Manscaped. They're good. They got the good razors. They got the nose hair trimmer, the ear hair trimmer. It's great on the sack. Balzac's a great writer. Good for the pubes. Make your dick look bigger. Trim it up. Make your pubes look better. Your clam look shinier. Uh, and they got the wipes. It's great stuff. They got good products over there. Even their underwear feel great. It all starts with the lawnmower body trimmer, the best trimmer on the market for your balls, butt, and body. And their Weed Whacker ear and nose trimmer helps prevent nicks, snags, and tugs in those delicate holes. And now you can pair that with Manscaped's new body wash with aloe vera and sea salt. And just in time for the holidays, Manscaped introduces their 2-in-1 shampoo and conditioner. These formulations are all vegan, cruelty-free, dye-free, sulfate-free, and paraben-free. So you know their products are legit. The whole package works so well, your jingle bells will be soft and smooth all year long. That's why they call it the perfect package. Get 20% off plus free shipping with code TUESDAYS at manscaped.com. That's 20% off plus free shipping with the code TUESDAYS at manscaped.com. Be the ballsiest gift giver this year with Manscaped. Hey, Mark, fake banter for the intro. That's all I know how to do. Great. Good to be here. Welcome to Tuesdays with... Stories! Hit her in the face with a surfboard. And then the duck fell out of his bag! <laughs> Surf's up! And she didn't even flush. Knock, knock. Who's there? Mark Norman and Joe Liss! Yeah! This is Tuesdays with Stories, everybody. Yeah, that's terrible. This is supposed to be cheesy. My radio is spitting at me. Ah! Here we are, folks. We're doing it. We're live. We're queefing. We're in New York City reporting from the couch. We got nine cats here, one Chuck, and two gays. I don't know how you're living like this. You got a second cat. It ain't easy. I was just in the bathroom with both cats. What? And this cat, the new cat, tried to drink my piss. I swear to God. Wow. You had a threesome in the bathroom with two, two cats, but... It basically, we got we got our cat. We got the fat man. I don't know where he is now. He's probably shitting blood or or eating a, a taco. Mm-hmm. But then we had a we got a friend who we need to house sit cat sit for because mm. they cat sit our guy. So uh, then they the the goose is for the gander. Now you owe the cat. Yeah, yeah, the cat got your tongue. I think about getting a dog, but you're just gone all the time. What do you guys do? You have someone take your cat. We bring it to a pal, and uh, they watch it. Oh, I see. But the beauty is a cat is pretty manageable. You throw it in the in the dryer, and it just spins. <laughs> but, so if you're planning a trip, whatever, do you, th- do you ever take the cat? Can you bring a cat on a plane? You can. It ain't pretty. It's a lot of... 
And then you take it out to pet it, and it's like it hates it, and you got to put it back in the carrier. But uh, on a Amtrak, it's not so bad. Well, what are you going to do? Travel like fucking Shoeless Joe Jackson exactly. across the country with I'm a kitten? Riding the rails over here. I mean, yeah, it's it's hard because, like, you know, my wife, uh, you know, she hates me. I hate her. I sure. got a small dick. She's got a big pussy, and we sure. have no, no pets. Yes. And uh, so every once in a while, I think it would be so fun. What you want is the moment where she, key, Christmas Sunday or whatever, and she keys in the door, and I'm like, oh, I forgot your gift. Well, you know what? I got a little something I could give you. Open that door. Oh! <laughs> He comes running out and bites her tits off, oh, you and you're like a hero. You could get a retarded boy or something. They'd be the same. But no, you're right. It's nice. They come home. They eat you out. They lick your toes. It's great. Well, at our age, if we had a kid, it would be a retarded boy. True. But, I mean, she's 59. I'm 61. But yeah, that those, moment those is eggs are scrambled. so fun. Was this cat a surprise, or was it a, let's go get a cat like assholes? Wait. Surprise to me. I came home after a long, hard Whoa. stint on the road, and I was like, what's this cum guzzler doing? And she said, oh, yeah, you know, it's good for the goose, it's good for the gander. Oh, surprise cat. I know. Yikes. Nobody's running shit by me. I got no hand. I mean, a, a, a dog is a f- best friend. You know, I don't want to go into a cat's dog's bit here, but a cat, a dog is really, it, it loves you. It licks you. It I bites know. the enemy. Yes, the enemy. This cat helps the enemy. You know, I read a story about a dog that knocked a gun out of a guy's hand. He was trying to kill himself. I feel like a cat would load the bullets. You know, he'd be... Get uh, out of here. I swear to God. True story. Now, what if he jumped? Would the dog run down and oh, catch he would him? Catch or what? Him. Yeah, he would lay, he'd catch the fall or the whatever. Wow. Or maybe he'd bite the, the, the guy's ankle and he's hanging there. and The dog would pull him back up. I had a fun metaphorical... What the hell was that? Am I shedding? Am I going bald? You got dandruff? Right in this moment? No, it was like hair is sprinkled out. Oh, well, welcome to adulthood. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, I had a metaphorical thing happen the other day. Mm. I was, uh, I think this is just dander. What is dander? Can I ask that? I think it's uh, pollen, little hair, little dust. It's a, it's a conglomeration of, of jizz and, and queefs and pubes. Well, it can't include dust because there's dust and dander. Ah. So dust wouldn't be solo if it's also in dander, right? Yeah, yeah, good for the gander. That's a good point. Yeah, I what is dander? Uh... You know what dander is? I thought dander came from animals. I thought like it was ah. dander. Well, this is all, this is dandelion, dandelion. here. Dandelion, yeah, it was yeah. the same. No, no get out I got here. this from Target for $4. Thing. This is chinchilla. Oh, so there's the metaphorical thing. I don't know where the dander came. Why did I think of dander? It was coming out of your oh, eyeballs. Oh, I thought there was dander. That's right. Yeah. Uh, but a dander hug and kiss. Uh, it, it wasn't bad. Something. Amanda, dander. Something, I think yeah. it was better than your... Uh, I think it was better. Chuck's laughing. All right. Well, I don't like that Chuck has sex. It's insane to me. Good luck, Chuckie's here. Uh, <laughs> I yeah, I know. I can't it. believe someone is fucking Chuck. <laughs> Hold on. We, you can't see him on camera. They can't see how gross he is, so it I doesn't help. I can't see Peter. <laughs> But, <laughs> I, yeah. So I was trying to open the curtain in my hotel, right? Ah, uh, yes. And I couldn't get it open, and I was getting angry. And I was yeah. going, what the fucking curtain, piece of shit hotel? And then I realized I was standing on the bottom. Ah. Uh, Very metaphorical. Uh, yes. You think, what the fuck? Everything's fucking... Oh, it's me. It's something I'm doing. Interesting. I That's true. As, I uh, like it. As Thom York said, you do it to yourself, and that's what really hurts. Radiohead. I like to say Thom. It's funny. Yeah, it's like often. Hmm? It's like saying often. But or, that is the word, like often powers? Oh, I thought it was often. <laughs> but it is often, right? I think off, often is the correct way. There's a T in there, isn't there? Yeah, it's a silent T. It's I a often, silent night. I often, I mean, you say often, but I thought it was like button, not button. What's the one? Smelled, smelt. The way people say smelt, but it is smelled. No, it's smelt. No, it's smelled. A smelt is a fish, isn't it? Uh, we might have had this conversation it. before, yeah. I don't know about that one. He smelled. What about honest? Ah! Oh, <laughs> honest Bopus. <laughs> <laughs> is it often? It's often. often. That's how you're supposed to say it? So. Yeah. No kidding. I mean, I often... I, I guess I don't say often that much. Offenheimer. You Jews don't say it often. often. Um, yeah, it's pretty unoften that unoften. I say often. I don't think that's a word either. It's not often I say often. There we go. That's fun. All right. But We're anyways, I, I was doing I I was I was standing on the thing and I had a moment. I was like, oh, that was something. That was a real 
Good for you for absorbing it, though. Most people go, oh, I'm a fucking retard. All right, boop, boopity boop. Yeah, I did both. You took it in. But anyways, I went in the bathroom, and this cat, alternative cat, was in there. Yes. And I tried to open the door to let it out, but then I'm I'm hearing you guys. I can't hear you and try to piss. I can't have a cat near me and try to piss. So I turned the water on to drown you guys out. But then the cat jumped up on the sink. But I think cats melt in water. Don't they have a water thing? uh, They're like gremlins. They like water. Oh, I thought they, if they get water on, if you splash it, doesn't a cat freak out? If they you don't get like wet? it. They don't like water. You're right. Okay. So that I, so I closed, melt. I turned the water off so he wouldn't get whatever, but then he was licking the bowl. Yeah. And, but then I started to piss and he heard the piss and he went, oh, there's more of that thing. So then he was like on the sink like a gargoyle oh, looking yeah. at my piss. And I was like, I can't have a cat drink piss as much as I don't care for cats. I don't want him to drink piss. He'll, he'll dig it. You think? Yeah, they like a tinkle. They like anything tinkling. Like that's why we have this little uh, stupid Nazi dribbler here, because it, it, it trinkles and tinkles. But the problem is, if you watch a cat with a faucet, once the faucet gets turned off, it licks the, the rim. Uh, I can't have a cat lick my dick again. Rim job. I yeah, mean, that thing's gonna bite. Well, it's got the paper, sandpaper tongue too. It's not great Boom. on the on the chode. Are you dry? Is your skin all dry? I'm on the road in these hotels with the heat on. And you know what I do at, the, at night? My wife's dry. I don't drink. I don't drink. I don't do drugs. I don't watch porn. So I, I just sit at home. I take another shower because otherwise I'm just looking at Instagram like a, the chooch of the, the year. shower's bad. What do you mean? See, that's a paradox. Everybody goes, hey, I'm dry. I'll jump in the shower. Now you're drying out your skin more. Well, that's what I'm saying. I'm not taking the shower to get dry. Ah. I'm taking it because I'm, I'm a mentally handicapped child I late see. at night on the run. I got nothing to do. So I go into the shower because the shower is fun, but I'm doubly dry as a result. Yes, and you get flaky, you get ashy, and uh, Ash Wednesday, and you get I get dandruff real bad. I get chapped lips. I, I'm a mess. I mean, I, 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 I don't want to show you. you. Plus, I wear the same underwear every day for a week because I don't know how to pack because I'm fucking Kevin McAllister. Same here. So I'm just all, Kevin! I'm all itchy everywhere, and I start itching. Once you start itching, I can't stop. I'm like a heroin addict. Yeah, I go camo now. You can't see the shit. It's hidden. <laughs> Skid marks. Hidden shitting. Yes, often. Hard hitting Mark Witten. Ah. Uh-huh. Yeah, he's a kitten guy. All right, but yeah. Kitten play. Where were you uh this weekend? I've been everywhere. All over. I've been gone for a week and then before that I was gone for a week. Yes. I had the the one night in bed out of fourteen days. Oh man. One night in Bangkok. I've been there and I opened Pandora's cock with the whole uh Hey, don't say where's Joe. Hey, what's Joe up to at the Q and A? Now they all do it as a goof. Oh, so I'm screwed. It. So I need a show that says I don't know where Joe is. Forget it. It's it's too much. It's too uh, the whole thing. It's cute that they're on board. They're zigging me. We're having fun. We're busting balls. We're shooting the shite. But uh, it's, I got no good answer. It's very cute. Uh oh. As oh. your semen. Oh my God. Good Lord. He I went saw, full uh, crip at the end of that, or blood. I saw a guy sneeze into his mask, and then that's it. I'm like, you're going to just leave that? You're going to throw that out. No, you, you got to get to the movies. You're going to walk around with a sneeze in your own mask? You got to take the mask down and sneeze into your shirt. Well, now you're living with that. The mask is at least disposable. I'd rather have sneeze on my tits than fucking, then you're just breathing in your own sneeze. Good to know for when I finish on you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll shoot it right on the chest and not the mug. Um, mug Costanzo. <laughs> But yeah, Mug everyone. Shot. But my thing, the Where's Mark is fun. That's like a sweet, like, I listen to the show. The problem I have is like, you know, when Mark was here, this is what he did. Uh, and I'm like, that's fantastic. You know, Mark doesn't talk like that. He doesn't say that. Mark goes to this thing. You're going to go to the other show. That's where Mark went. I'm yeah, like, I don't, I don't do what Mark does. I don't know what the fuck he did. That I don't is care strange. what he did. I don't understand that at all. Well, we're different people. What do I, what do I care? You know, you're going to do the thing. You're going to uh, do this. No, nah, I don't know what that is. Well, that's what Mark does. All right. Well, that's great for him. What the fuck do you want me to do? You're going to do that fentanyl. You're going to do a line off the fat chick. You're going to, you know, eat eat ass and get H. pylori. No, we're different. Yeah, it's uh, whatever you're going to do. It's an odd couple. What do you do? Go through the legs? No, between the legs. I go between. I see. Yeah. Anyways, I was in Royal Oak, Michigan. Mm, so Just was I. missed you. I know. Yeah. What the hell? I know. We missed each other by a couple days. Maybe that's why they were saying it. Where's Joe? He's in town. Why I, isn't he with you? I know. I wanted to stay. I should have stayed and hung, but I had to other business. Then I went to Cleveland. Then from Cleveland to Indianapolis, Indianapolis home. It was quite a journey. Middle Middle East, Middle West. That's right. Middle West sounds way worse or than different than Midwest. 
Yeah, it's true. Middle West like sounds like something in the Lord of the Rings. I went to Middle West. The Middle West. And killed an orc and got the ring and Gollum. Let me pull up some. No, I mean, I got a bunch of shit. I've All had, right. I've had Put it in my of, ass. See a lot if of I stuff finish. happening here. Lay it on me, Fatty. Woman that sting is mad. Oh, this was a while ago. This was back in here. When the hell was the last time we recorded? It's been a year. It's, it's been quite some time. Coon's age. I Maine guess we Coon. did early, right? Something happened. Anyways, I haven't seen you since the 70s. But So sure. I went to the stand, did a spot. It was like a produce show. It's one of these shows. You get over there. And it's upstairs, uh, and there's like the window you can see in. Hate upstairs. And there's just seven people. I can see the heads. And they're like, it's good. It's good crowd. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm looking. I'm like, how? What are you talking about? Yeah. And there's more people in the E Street Band than are at this fucking show. <laughs> What's that? That was my Clarence. Oh. You ever seen that video, uh, Dancing in the Dark? I've seen the video. I mean, I would have done... Yeah, well, that's a little vague. Anybody can do that. No, that's sax. vague. He's a saxophone. He plays the sax. He's the saxophone, bar none. You got to put that clip in, Chuck, of the giant black guy with sleeveless shirt and the flat top going. Yeah, then when he's done, he plays the sax. You think Clarence, you think sax. You don't think claps. All right. Well, I, I think got clap. I think. Uh, Me in the 80s. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, no, I hear you, I mean, but that's just burned into my brain seeing that music video. And I think uh, Courtney Cox comes up and eats him out. That's right. That's exciting. CC. She was hot for like oh, 10 minutes. Oh, she had a window. Yeah, it was a real window. <laughs> window Big hot. rear window. Isn't and it weird that Brad Pitt, hot for 30 years, Courtney Cox had like eight minutes of fame or whatever that's She's like a plate is. of nachos where they're great, but you wait too long and that shit's ruined. Yeah, forget about it. She's a nacho window hot. Yeah, she's a not ho. There's your title. Hey, all right. Um, but yeah, yeah. Aniston, Jesus. Aniston's still going. This is the other cat we're sitting. I know. I just got used to Greg, and now yeah. we got Pete or whoever the fuck this is. <laughs> Not Greg. What's his name? <laughs> its name? I think it's Reggie. <laughs> Reggie. I can't keep it up. looks white. Uh, <laughs> Hell, he was late. <laughs> uh, um, where, what was uh, it what the fuck are we doing? Uh, oh, so I go to the stand. Oh, Cordy Cox. Go to the stand, and uh, the neck. greatest rock and roll saxophone player has been reduced to a clapper. Hey, that was a, a fun item in the 80s. The clapper. We've come a lot with clapper. Now we got a VR. You know, we've really kicked it up. We got iPads. Someone freaked Sarah freaked me out. She was like, dude, we're like really close to like everything virtual. Forget about it. Yeah. We're like, you and I, the three of us will hang all at our house with VR goggles, and you'll Oof. just be there. Oof. And you have a conversation. Like, no one will ever have to leave their house again. It's a nightmare. It's really bizarre. And then it's gonna, there's going to be two camps. There's going to be concentration. No, there's going to be uh, real-life people, and then there's going to be the VR people who are just stuck and live in that world because it's too good. They're getting laid. They're in a private jet. They're in a mansion. They're in Tuscany. And we're out here at the grocery store like a chooch. But here's the thing. That's the video game version of this. Mm. The, like, let me go play a video game thing. But she's, they're saying that, like, that will be actual life. Not, like, I'm going to throw on VR and fuck Jenna oh. Jameson. But, like, shopping. You just go on and, like, like almost like Amazon, the way you click, kind of like that now. But you throw on goggles and you're just, like, in the grocery store grabbing things like this or whatever. Whoa. Or, like, meetings. The way everything's on Zoom now. Yeah. Zoom will just keep improving. So, like, comedy shows will just be like, yeah, you throw on the goggles. You're at the show. It'll look real or whatever. I know, but I do. I think you're right. But I think people are going to stand back and go, hey, you coming to my show? You got to be in the room. I hope so. There's going to be a two camp. I hope so. But, uh. I don't want to go off the deep end here, but where, well, this is all crazy. Like, I was in Cleveland, which is always regular depressing. Sure. Now it's like next level. I go out to walk. It's me and six schizophrenic guys. Nobody's working. It's empty. The country got hit real hard in the pooper. I mean, I told you about Portland. I uh, hear SF. They're killing Girl Scouts on the street. They're oh. shitting on the sidewalk. It's wild out there. It's it's Thunderdome. It's a uh, banana. It's scary. I, I ended up, I had an off night in Cleveland. I just walked around that arcade by myself. Yeah. Getting my steps in because I went outside and I got mugged by the hamburglar it was fucking terrifying i had to stay inside yeah that uh that area you got about talk about a window you got about three blocks down that little street with the clubs on and that's it yeah but then even then you got crazy like that's true and you're like fuck me hard i don't i don't want to deal with it i know and the hobo you give to one and then the next one rolls up and he goes hey here's a honky i'll I'll hit him up and you go "Ah, i gave it to your friend and he goes i don't know him and you go what do you want me to do i know should i come out here with the ice cream 
that guy, I got to get a change belt just oh, to yeah. keep uh, keep them all happy. I like those change belts. Those are fun. I always wanted one of those. Good time. <laughs> Anything you, you, you take out and it replaces. Pez. Yeah. That's it. Pez was good. The other thing, there's always a thing that... Even a cigarette case. You know, you got the guy... Oh, yeah. That's a good look. Even the Altoid, I think, is pretty sexy. Yeah, that's fun. The cigarette thing was big. How about in like uh, once upon a time in Hollywood, he's got that wooden one that's Ooh, all like organized, nice. Yeah, it you, makes get, you want to smoke. Keep a couple stogies in those wooden ones. That's nice. Yeah, those are fun. Yeah, anything in a case, a cigar, a uh, poker. You know, your friend's like, oh, let's play some oh, poker. Yeah. Pulls out that big metal motherfucker click, and flips click, it open. Click. A oh, pool cue. Pool cue. You, you screw it in. That's nice. That's a dildo. nice. Even yeah, in the movies, case. like the action movies, where the guy pulls out a briefcase and he opens it up and he's got his guns sitting in the correct slot of mm -hmm. styrofoam yes you're like who cuts that yeah that's nice i love back to the future uh two when they go back to the past and he opens the case he's got money from everywhere oh, and marty goes oh that was big he goes through there and he's got every year and he's like pulls out a couple of things something inconspicuous right great it's, film it's so weird to be broke for most of your life always poor and then like i worked on a few movies as a pa and whatnot and they would go all right here you take Take this money. You go get lunch. And then they'd be like, you go get, we're out of stop signs. Go buy a stop sign. Now we're out of shoes. Go get a shoe. And I'm like, you're just handing out cash. They call it petty cash. I'm like, yeah. this this could pay my rent. Yeah, what, petty cash is weird. I, I worked at Sears. They had petty cash. Take some petty cash yes. and go buy a banana. What's petty? Tom? <laughs> Richard. Ah. Uh, <laughs> wait, oh, let yeah. me get to these ladies. Oh, sorry. Oh, I forgot about the ladies. ladies. We even digress. One lady. You're going to hate this lady. This might be the all-time lady we hate the most ah, ever. We've had some real coups awards, a real uh, cunt of fame. That would be fun. The cunt of fame oh. Tuesdays with Stories. Go back to the backlog. Yes, yeah, COF. We have to do it with men, too, because otherwise we look like assholes. Sure, so sure. The dick of fame. But that yeah. sounds like a porn series. <laughs> the dick of fame. Oh, boy. I don't think I'd make it. No, I get a shame. Dick of shame. Yeah, yeah. I'd get. I'd make the cunt to. Or wait, shit. I'd make the dick of fame, but only because of the moles. Ooh. Well, moles. If I ever go on a lineup, I'm out. What do you think about sitting like this? Because it's kind of comfy, but it's a real tea kettle leg cross. I mean, I don't think if my wife dies, I'm just a virgin the rest of my life. Oh, it's a this. bad look, and I think you're killing some sperm in there. No, my balls are. It's a. It's all squashed up. Oh. Because I got the long bag. See, I got the long bag. Mine go lower. They, I can go low or high. You want me to go low? Yeah, I'll go, go low. low. I got to do a little adjusting, but I'll go below. There we go. No, that's not it. Well, that's no good. Yeah, yeah see. Low, I got to go. Oh, I got one up, one down. I've had that too. Stacked. Yes. Stack Edwards. Good show on uh, NBC with Pamela Anderson. Really? Stacked. No, it wasn't a good show, but I jerked off to it. I never heard of it. Elon Gold. Really? She was a book salesman, so it was stacked because you stack the books. <laughs> get, get it out of here. Nineties. Wow, Elon Gold's back on curve. I know he's jewing it up. <clears throat> anyway, so these girls, uh -huh. this girl, I I'll put her up there with one of the worst. I mean, you've had some run-ins, but this is one of the worst. And I'll tell you why. It so may. I got my Starbucks. You know me. I like my tea. I'm always sure. having my tea. I'm carrying my tea around. Routine. I got some problems. Routine. Major. A routine ager. Oh, okay. I don't know. Poutine? I don't mind if I do. There uh, you go. Where's the cat? I don't know. All right. So you got you got the coups of the year. I got the Starbucks. I walk into the show. I go up on stage. The comic's coming off. I go, are they any good? Like, it's good. They're fun. They're laughing. I go, oh, great. I walk on stage, and a girl, there's seven people. Uh, maybe there's 12, whatever. There's one woman all the way left. She goes, oh, God. On, you walk on stage. I walk on stage. Haven't said anything. Oh, God. What is up with these like gals? And I go, uh, what? She goes, Starbucks. He's drinking Starbucks. Oh, and I go, can't win. Yeah. And she goes, it's not even reusable. Jesus. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, what is this? Is this a Portlandia sketch? I go, what the fuck? I haven't said a word. I just walked on. She literally gives me, ugh, he's drinking Starbucks and it's not reusable. Ah, I'm, I'm, I'm appalled. And so right away, I wanted to kick her head off her shoulders. She's just sitting right there in the front row. I hated this woman so much. Reusable. You know what was fun, too? It's double cup because it's tea. It's hot. And I go, look at this. It's double cupped. I'm not yeah. going to use this one. I go, this one's not even wet. Yeah. I'm going to throw it straight in the trap. I haven't done a bit yet. I haven't said anything. I hope you threw it in her face. I walked out. I go, yeah, I'm going to throw this out. I'm, I'm going to go fucking light some styrofoam on fire. And she goes, uh, please don't. Please don't. 
Wow, this is a comedy show, huh? She seems like a good time. And then I go, uh, I go, what do you? I got a bit about climate change. I go, what do you worry about climate change? I'm like, let me try to, let me try to just exhale, get through this. Uh-huh. I got a climate change bit, so I go. It sounds like you're concerned about climate change. Go into a bit, just nothing. She, I look over, she's just like this. <laughs> and then I get filled <laughs> with hatred. I'm like, you're a piece of shit. You're the worst kind of person. Clearly, because you think that you're. The good. hero. Yeah. You think you're like a good person. Yep. And let me tell you something. We got uh, climate issues, environmental issues. My Starbucks cup, if I shot myself in the head, none of it, the world's problems are solved. No. No, no, no. You're going to save on two cups a day for the rest of your lives or whatever the fuck. She read one article. It's like that guy who goes, hey, you going to eat that burger? Don't get the burger. Cows die out there or whatever in the mills and they cut them up and they slaughter them and you go... It's on the menu. Somebody else is going to order it. And it's me getting this burger is going to change the world here. Your energy is in the wrong place. You're such a douche. And it's like, if you want to help the environment, I, I I wanted to go. I'm like, I hope you're a vegetarian. I hope you don't exactly. take cabs. Where I hope you don't run a car. I hope you don't wear leather. I hope you don't drive. I hope you don't jump shit in the ocean. Like, you better be perfect if you're going to see a person with a cup and go, oh, what an asshole. She had and a also, chip. You think your local coffee place, whatever, they're somehow way uh, better than Starbucks, who right. pays livable wages, I might add, uh-huh. and also gives birth to the coffee culture. Uh-huh. Starbucks is good. Fuck you. Fuck them. Fuck her. Here, here. Pro Starbucks. And yeah, I'm double cupped. What do you want me to do? Fuck off. I got to take a reusable cup everywhere I go. I'm drinking tea. We got to drink beverages. What am I supposed to do? Carry around a glass? I know. Exactly. Take a glass from home. Get get one of those, uh, those big... What do you call those, like energy? Not energy, the thing that people bring into the gym. These guys. Steroids? Oh, a tin. They want you to bring that shit around everywhere or whatever it is. And you're like, I'm not doing that. And look, the paper straw thing. That was a big to-do with the whole country. A turtle fucked a straw. It went up his ass and it gave him bowel cancer. They found out they didn't do anything. The straws are fine. I'm all for reducing plastic. I, I want to play ball. I want to help. I, I turn my lights off. I recycle. I, I donate money to the Nature Conservatory or whatever the fuck it's called. I, I'm donating left and right. There's uh, the Clean Air Task Force. They're supposed to be the best thing. I'm giving all kinds mm. of money to them. But And I walk when I can, and I jog when I can't, or whatever. She thinks she's helping, but it's, it's really just narcissism. It's me, me, me. Let me show you, by shaming him, that I'm a good egg. And on that's top of it, comes you're a to. rude asshole. You're well, at that, a show. That, I mean, that's the, the main thing. I keep looking at Chuck. Sorry, Chuck. It's just I, I can't understand how you're getting laid. So I keep looking over there. I'm like, what's he doing? It's a problem. I guess you're special. special you're special something. Yeah. Special. Uh, special K. You're eating too much. I was gonna say K, but I wasn't sure if K made sense. It I didn't, didn't get it, but I still went for it. Special gay. Aha. Uh-huh. Uh, but I, I just hate. I'm like, you're such a rude douchebag a yeah. fucking douche well the thing is they are they're validated to be rude because you're the bad guy right so now i've made you i've cemented you as the bad guy now i can be the biggest cunt on the block because i'm i'm doing good i'm morally superior so i can shit in your lunchbox and i still am the savior yeah it's it really is just obnoxious she sucked anyways i fight through the set and then there's a woman over here and she was, this is so long, I gotta like really. Where re-read. are we here? Where is it the stand? Oh, a stand? What? The stand upstairs, remember with the window? Ah, uh, the window. People, you did the clarity. Yes, Courtney Cox. Uh, so there's another woman, and I'm just dying now. I gotta fill my time. I wanna just leave. And I say, hey, you, you got a beautiful makeup job over there. This lady said something Uh-oh. too, but she said something like productive. Okay. She was like, did you know this or something like that? Because there was a weird wine glass. And she's like, did you know it's it's uh, designed after something? Do you know anything about this? Yeah. Always good when you're interacting with the audience this much. That's never a good sign oh, when you guys have a full conversation about a wine glass with the audience. Worst show I've ever done. It was like, a, there's a wine glass designed after a kidney bean or something weird. I don't know. I don't know. I know wine's bad for the kidneys. <laughs> I don't know what happened, but something happened. So I said, oh, and I go, by the way, beautiful makeup. She's gorgeous. In her fa- she had like the right... Sarah's into makeup, so I know a little bit about the makeup, and she had just beautiful contour, I think Ah, it's called. Ah, blackface. It was just really something, and I said, hey, great makeup job, and her friend went, oh, she's naturally beautiful. Ah. Now, I want to cut ahead so you don't get upset. The woman who I complimented was complimented. But this woman next to her goes, she's naturally beautiful. And her other friend goes, like, what are you doing? That's not, you don't do that. And then this girl, the original T-girl, is like this, ugh. 
She gives me another, ugh. Wow. And I go, what are you, is that bad? I started like backpedaling. I'm like, is that no good? You are wearing makeup, yes, right? Yes, yes. it looks nice. I don't understand. Man. You obviously worked hard on it. And then finally the world with the makeup said, yeah, yeah. No, I appreciate it. She's like, I'm like, I feel like flattered. That's why I'm quiet. She's like, I, I appreciate it. I tried a new thing out. And I'm like, I can tell. You worked hard and it looks great. Talk about metaphorical. This comes back to your uh, curtain, the curtain with the foot. Curtains. And the problem is quiet people, are the happy people are quiet. It's mm. these psycho wackos who have to voice everything, broadcast every thought they have, every fucking complaint. But the, all the sane people in America are just quiet. And then we keep listening to the whack jobs because they're the ones screaming. The squeaky wheel, man. She was wacky. And uh, I, I felt horrible because I never want to hurt anyone's feelings. I mean, fuck the, the tea lady. Fuck her. I hope her feelings are hurt. I hope her tits hurt. Tea for just, twat. Yeah. So I just went, oh, my God. I, I'm sorry. I just, like, if I tell Sarah, hey, your makeup looks great. She's like, thanks for noticing. It's so sweet how much you care about my makeup or whatever. There said, we Let's go. Let's make up. Put some makeup on me. I hate kiss. So <laughs> I was like, it, it looks great. And she's like, yeah, I worked hard. And I was like, yeah. I can tell you worked hard. And I'm glad I complimented you. And it, you killed it. And I said to the frat, fuck you. I go, fuck you and fuck you. You fucking made me feel like shit. Yes. You're an asshole. Yes. Good. She's naturally be I'm like, and she is beautiful. I'm sure she looks great without makeup. But today she's wearing makeup. So why not compliment the makeup? These gals woke up on the wrong side of the trough. They wanted to yell at somebody. You were the guy. They're at a comedy show. There's not a lot of... Uh, People in the audience, no one's doing security, so they feel entitled to just, just run their yaps, and it's pretty rude, and no one stops them. What do you think of this? Because I think I get this is a good analogy. It's the equivalent if I went, hey, I like your uh, shirt and pants, and you went, you don't think I look good naked? Ah, uh, yes. That's pretty good, That's right? Pretty good, That's yeah. a decent analogy. Yeah, because where does it end? Because you could go, oh, you're naturally beautiful. Well, I'm more than just my looks. Oh, I'm just saying you're very pretty. Oh, you th you're objectifying me? We could just do this all day. All day. But she was breakfast. nice. She was like, ah, ah. she's like, I did. I tried something different. I, and she was like flattered, like buttered up. I think I might have been able to make love to her. Yeah, well, you know, we need the uh, the complimentee to actually speak up sometimes. And that's kind of a microcosm for everything. You know, trans, we, we got to help trans people. Then you hear some trans person go, I'm good. Stop mm. talking for me. And that's what you need. You need the trans person to pipe up. But they go, what? I'm going to work. I don't care about you guys as dumb bicker. But we need you to say something. It's true. Well, a lot of it's a lot of stri broad strokes. People can say the trans people. Then you got one trans person that's offended by Chappelle, and one trans person is like, "I love Chappelle." And then we go, "Oh, trans people feel this way," and you're like, "No, some do, some don't." It's like saying women like tall men. Well, some women like clam. Some women like a thumb in the ass, and so do all the other women. But that's a bad example. Sure, they all like it. I think. Right? I think so. I gotta, I gotta trim my nail. <laughs> um, but no, I think you're right. Yeah, we, we, and we do that with it. Men are toxic. So gay guys, all cops are bastards. So the black ones too. Like, what? Well, you can't just broad. Too broad. I'd like to stroke that broad. Love a broad. Did you ever watch Broad City? I caught a minute. Yeah, I saw it a couple times. I was kind of attracted to Alana. Hmm. Something there. I like a big Jew mug. I like them both. I like them all. Hey, hey gang. Tuesday Stories is brought to you by Native Deodorant. Want to give a gift this year that your whole family can enjoy? How about covering up those smelly pits of yours, stinkaroo, with Native Deodorant? You'll smell so good, you'll finally be invited back to your family holiday. I love Native. I keep it in the dresser, keep one in my bag. The lady uses it. I gave some to my mom last year. It's a hit. It's subtle. It's sweet. It smells great. Get on it. And he, he looks like you know what you're doing a little. He took some time. It's not just a fucking uh, right guard over here. Native cares about the products you put on your body. They're all about stopping the stink the right way. That's the Native difference. Native products are made with simple ingredients like shea butter and coconut oils. So they can smell great all day long with classics and rotating seasonals. Native has a scent for everybody. You can get sugar cookie, candy cane, fresh mistletoe for a limited time. Build yourself or loved ones personalized product bundles by mixing and matching three of your favorite holiday scented products into a set. Stay merry, happy, and fresh this holiday season. You will love Native's limited time seasonal product as much as we do. Go to nativedeodorant.com and use code Tuesdays with Stories, one word, and that'll give you a fat 20% off your first purchase at checkout. That's nativedeodorant.com, code Tuesdays with stories for 20% off. Nativedeodorant.com, Tuesdays with stories, 
code. Thank you. Get on it. Happy holidays. Tuesdays with Stories is also brought to you by Raycon. By now, you've probably seen about a thousand gift guides for the holiday season. Gifts for moms, gifts for gays, gifts for your secret family in Canada. Time to stop looking and buy the one thing on everyone's list, Raycon wireless earbuds. I love Raycon earbuds because they just fit nice. They're comfortable. They have great sound. It's like high-definition sound. I don't think about sound, but it sounds killer. High quality, amazing sound. It's the best air things, earbuds I've ever used. Pick up a pair for yourself and everyone on your list. It's with free shipping and returns. Gifting is easier than ever. Trust me, you're going to use them every day. Get them for your niece. These teenagers, they've never even used this stuff. They'll love them. My niece has them. I got them for her last year. She loves them. The holidays are coming up faster than you think. Now is the time to knock out that gift list and avoid the last-minute shipping scramble, especially because right now our listeners will get 15% off site-wide with code HOLIDAY at buyraycon.com slash Tuesdays. Go to buyraycon.com slash Tuesdays and use code HOLIDAY today to get a 15% off your entire Raycon order. Buyraycon.com slash Tuesdays. Tuesdays with Stories is brought to you by Keeps. We all tell ourselves little lies to get through the day like that barista was flirting with me or that pain in my knee isn't too bad. Ouch. <laughs> but if you've been lying to yourself about hair loss, it's time to do something about it. I'm always afraid about losing my hair. I had dander floating around during this episode. It was wild. And I was like, oh, my God, am I, is all my hair going away? Sometimes in the drain, I'll find hair. I'm like, is that Sarah's? Is that mine? Is that the butler's? Who knows? I don't want to lose my hair. It's all I got, for God's sakes. Keeps offers a simple, stress-free way to keep your hair treatment start at just $10 per month. See a virtual doctor to get medication delivered straight to your door every three months. You don't even have to leave your home. No one wants to leave their home these days. Good news. Keeps has everything you need. FDA-approved drugs out there to prevent hair loss. Keeps has them. Everything comes in a discreet package. Prevention is key. Treatments can take four to six months to see results. So just a heads up, you're going to have a heads up full of hair. <laughs> mm-hmm. If you're ready to take action, go to K-E-E-P-S dot com slash Tuesdays. Get your first month of treatment for free. That's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash Tuesdays to get your first month free. K-E-E-P-S dot com slash Tuesdays and keep your hair. Does this thing work? Because I feel like I haven't charged it all. I've been at 73% the whole time. Well, you I've got the uh, lightning bolt in the corner. I haven't gone up 1%, though. Really? I've gone up 0% is what I mean. Uh-huh. Well. Any jizz. Oh, I was looking for the time. I uh-huh. know what time it is. All right. Well, yeah, I was also in Royal Oak and uh, had the great sets uh, all around, so there's no good story. But we had the one show where we had this guy, Brett Hayden, come out. He's the host. And they go, Brett Hayden. He comes out, and the girl goes, Brett, 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 Brett. And you're like, what are we doing here? You're a grown-up? You're at a comedy show? You're at a live event? I, this somehow, the lines with comedy got skewed. You never do that at Broadway. Mm-hmm. Not once in a million years you get tased and thrown out like Jazzy Jeff. Well, it's a nightclub. That's the difference. This theater and nightclub. And we've talked about this before. And a lot of those old magazines... It would say arts, and then you flip to nightlife. Oh, we're nightlife. We're nightlife. We're not art. We're nightclub nightlife. You got to go to the theater. In a theater, they'll say something. In a theater, yeah, I've done very few theater gigs, or I guess I've opened for a lot of theaters. But yeah, you're right. It's like this feels good. They're laughing. They're not. They're not going. Let me get the uh, the taquitos. Right. You know, they're not rolling over doing shots. They're not clinking, and uh, you go. This is pretty good. And it's almost like we have to get through the clubs as some kind of weird uh, test and like obstacle course, and then you earn theater. A gauntlet. Gauntlet. Josh mm. Gauntlet, man. Uh, that was a stretch. <laughs> All right. Uh, but yeah, yeah, you're right. It's a gauntlet, but you got to earn those theaters. You got to earn the theater, but uh, yeah. That, burn them. I think it's because we're a nightclub, nightlife, whatever. Nighttime. Nightlife. You yeah. flip. I like the nightlife, baby. I like to boogie. <laughs> Yeah, who's that, a Stefan? No, I think it's older than that. One I of those, like the uh, nightlife. I like the Gloria Gaynor, maybe? Ooh. No, I think she only did the one song. I Will Survive. Yeah, but she didn't really survive. I no, mean, that I was it. One hit herself. wonder. Oh. I like the nightlife. 
I like Maybe it's the Bee Gees. No, it was a lady. Well, oh, they could no. pass. Maybe it's yeah. Cool in the Gang. There's only like six disco people I've ever heard of. Yeah. Can we get a, can we get a ruling on this, Jeff? Give it a goog. Who's saying I like the nightlife, I like to boogie? Yeah, and who's the gang? Is it just Cool, cool? and the gang, they sang the other one. They sang uh, Get Down Tonight, Do a Little Dance. And then they had a second one. Were they Funky Music White Boy? Alicia Bridges? Uh, Alicia Bridges. I knew it was a lady, uh, uh, of, uh, like a lone lady. Get out of here with the Alicia Bridges. Uh, who does White Boy, Funky Music? Play that funky music. And as a kid, I remember being bothered boy. by it. Jeez, like, imagine saying that the other way. Play that funky music, uh, Lay black down child. The boogie and play blue music. Ah. Oh yeah, Wild Cherry. That's right. I remember that. Then there was Hot Chocolate. A lot mm. of sexy foods in the seventies. Seventies was all sex all the time. Oh yeah, it's pre-AIDS. Pre-AIDS, and you then can really uh, get crazy pre-AIDS. But now sex is crazy again. I mean, Chuck is getting pussy. Ron on Hirschberg gets laid. Oh, I'm eating here. It's just terrible. <laughs> That's appalling. The cops are coming now. They heard that. Um, Royal Oak, the Brett lady. Oh, oh, yeah. Sorry. So uh, I had this one where the, it's a great club, co- comedy castle, good club. Then they did it to the, the feature, Nate. And then they're like, hey, man, what do you want to do? And I was like, just throw her out. Get rid of her. And they're like, really? And I'm like, yeah, get rid of her. So they got rid of her. And that was it. I'm a fan. I I always say that I'm like a Nazi when it comes to comedy clubs. I throw people out immediately. Why not? Like when the show starts and they're like, "Are you ready for comedy?" and they're like, "Woo!" I'd be like, "You're out. Sorry. Yeah, I can yeah. tell already. You're just you're just obnoxious. Leave. See ya." Yeah, you're hammered on the way in. You're methed up. You're coked up. What's the point? I mean, I'm doing a show, and I used to go, "Oh, you can't handle it. Oh, you're a bitch. Oh, you uh, you need silence. What are you, some kind of artiste? You're some kind of baby?" And now I'm like, "Yeah." I want to do the bits. Yeah, it's a little much. Oh, what, my down. baby's sitting here? You got shit face, and now I got to deal with it? Yeah. Get out of here. It stinks. All right, now I feel guilty. I hate drunks. Yeah, they're tough. And I become one later, but I'm not going to do it and ruin somebody. Maybe I'll yell at an Uber driver. Yeah, you don't ruin the day. I went to the uh, <clears throat> I went to the uh, Big Ten championship football game on Ooh, Saturday. Big Ten. In Indianapolis. Indeed. I'm, I'm, sk- I'm skipping around here, but we brought up drunk people. And we've been shitting on women, so I feel like i got to throw a guy out there. Because this mm. guy, worse than any of these women we're mentioning. Dick of fame. This guy's a piece of shit. We go to the game, and, you know, it's Louie and I, so we got the tickets, Uh-oh. which was fun because I didn't. I wanted to go to the game. I was going to go to the game anyways. I was opening for him. We did Royal Oak. Then I did a one-nighter in Cleveland. Then I opened for him in Cleveland. Then he has Saturday off and then goes to Chicago for Sunday. I'm going home. Yeah. But I saw that game when we planned the thing, and I went, I'm going to that game, no question about it. Uh-huh. So I messaged him. I go, hey, the Big Ten Championship Saturday. It's in Indianapolis. He doesn't know anything about college football. I go, it's a big game. Don't worry about it. It'll be fun. Do you want to go? I'm going either way, so no pressure. And he goes, sure, that sounds better than anything I'm going to do. You got that right. So I go, great. He tells his assistant, go get some tickets. Now, she jumps on the tickets. They buy the crazy, goofy nine thousand dollar tickets oh boy well that's good for you right it's good for me but i'm a control freak i know sport this is what i do all i do is go to StubHub. you know me i buy seven sets of tickets i'm looking at this seat that seat this will be good this will be that entrance is here this is too high that's low this is the corner i put a lot of thought into seats okay and i go to so many sporting events it's it's obnoxious i really know what i'm doing here you're a seat geek i'm a seat geek so she goes on there and just buys the tickets. She probably just goes, uh, let me get, these are the most expensive, grab those. It says best seat, so she gets them. But with football and hockey, close becomes bad. Why? You're too close because you're low. You got a low angle. You can't see. You're at the uh, eye level. Plus, you're near the benches, and you're looking mm. over. There's 75 guys on the sidelines with big, giant helmets and yep. huge dicks. Little Brad Williams action. I got to look by them, and this is a national game, so there's the moving camera. Uh, I hate a moving cam. So when they're right in front of you, you see two guys going, yeah. boop, they park literally right in front of right, you. Right, because you got the best spot. Yes, I got the camera angle, so we get tickets on the 45-yard line, six rows back. So That's on good. paper, you're like six rows back, midfield. Holy shit, I'm jizzing on my asshole. Yep. But I'm like, hmm, sixth row. You kind of want 15, 20. Oh. Maybe even like a second level because you really get the bird's eye. 
And with football, you can see those those routes being run. You really get the the defensive coordinator doesn't sit in the sixth row. Man, you got to be a seat geek to hear sixth row and go. I don't know about this one, Fatty. Well, it's hockey. Hockey too. Hockey's like the big one. People think like, oh, I got front row, and you're like, well, good luck because you can't see forty percent of the ice. Yikes! No ice. It's down here. You're just you just lose it. You're like, all right, hopefully something's happening at the border. You can only see ten percent of the ice. It's all uh, it's all angles. Uh huh. So anyways, I'm like, I'm a, such a cunt because I'm getting a free ticket. It's like sure. a $9,000 free ticket. And I'm like, hmm, six yeah. rows. Also, I got to ask, when you say seats, because I went to the college game in Wisconsin, I was going to kill myself. I was sitting on a block of plywood and, I, and, a, and no back, and I had a dildo in my ass. Well, this is a big game. This is a championship game, so it's neutral site. It's at Lucas Oil Stadium, which is like three months old. This is, I mean, it's not that old. It's, it's got to be 15, 10 years old because I went there drunk one time. So. I see. It's over nine years old. Okay, been so, around. But it's new. It's but these and also we're on the fifty yard line, six rows back. So these are like cushy seats. Yeah, this is that soft jizz. I hear you. So we get the seats. She gets the seats. I go great, kick ass. Gonna be there. Check everything all right. All of a sudden, Chuck's moving around. All right, great. Mm. Ah, that's great. And he gets laid. I don't get it. I have some nice Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Not physically. The face ain't one of them. All right. Uh, so, <laughs> so we, we get. The, we're going to the game. Now I'm all excited. We're going to fly. So like three weeks ago, I hate this whole story. It's just I'm smart. But he goes, well, what do we do? We fly over there. We should fly there. I go fly. from Cleveland to Indianapolis. Ah, how's the drive? Five hours. Yeah, you got to fly. So he's like, he wants to fly. But I go, what if we leave after the show Friday, go halfway, get a nice hotel, wake up. That way we're halfway there. Break up the ride because you don't want to drive five hours and go to a four hour football game. But I hear you. Who wants to fly? And sure. direct, no direct flights from Cleveland to Indianapolis. What? No, you can't fly from Cleveland to Indianapolis. It's an eight-minute flight. You got to go to Detroit or Chicago because oh, these forget hubs. It. You got to find the it. hub. I'm with you on the sleep now. So there's no hub. So the night before, we're walking around Cleveland. Stub hub. And I go, boy, I uh, I hate that we're going to the airport tomorrow. I don't want to fly. I hate I hate the security. You know all the things. He didn't He didn't go for the uh, middle, middle snooze wake up. Didn't go for it, mm. but... Now, here we are three, three weeks later, night before football eve. I go, it sucks we have to go to the airport tomorrow. And he's like, I know, I hate the airport. And I go, and it's two flights, you know. And he's like, two flights. And oh, like, yeah. shit. We got to wake up, have two flights. And he goes, I don't want to do that. And I go, why don't we leave tonight in a car, drive to Columbus. It's two hours south of Cleveland, and it's on the way to Indy. Uh huh. And Columbus is not a bad town. Great town, and there's nice hotels. Better than Cleveland. And so then he grabs his sister and goes, hey, why don't we do this? He's like, that's a good idea. And I'm like, well, I had it twice. I had it two weeks ago. And he, what did he say? He said, ah, no dice? Hey, I didn't feel like it, but then once you get there, you're like, let's just drive. Plus, after a show, you're jacked up. You're jacked up, and it drives fun. You put on a little Zeppelin and cruise. Exactly. When you got to go somewhere the next day, it's always good to get half the ride out because after a show, you're jacked. I'm like, what are we going to do? We're going to go back and watch fucking uh, The Best of Lily Tomlin on an infomercial? Wow, she's got that? I don't know. I just made it up. I don't oh, know where she popped in. I was going to say, I'd like to get it. I don't know why she popped. Hey, it's good. You got to let it pop. You gotta let it pop. Don't filter. No filter. Like Why are you Instagram. Because I've seen the dick pic, and you always put that uh, mosaic on there. Oh, right. So, anyways, finally we decide great, we're renting a car. We get the car. We drive to the gig. John Fish is on the show. I love Fish. And his flight gets fucked up. So, he's got he's to leave for Pittsburgh. So, we both take cars. Oh, Fish and I drove together. Then uh, after after the gig, Fish leaves in his car to go to Pittsburgh. We leave in our car to go to Columbus. We're jacked up. We're listening to music. We're bullshitting, having a great time. Yeah. And it brings you back to the old days. We never have comedy car rides anymore. Car rides are the best. You do a line. You yuck it up. You make fun of people. It's great. In the old days, the comics were always in a car. Always in a car. Always talking shit. You bond in a car. You go, I don't really know Terry that well. Three hours in, you're blowing him. Nothing bonds like a car. I mean, that's how we got together. You got that right. That B car ride to Boston. That's true. Yes. I forgot. We talked about Seinfeld, atheism, the Jews. Yeah, it was getting a little dicey, but it was fun because you're like, I know. You think that? I think that. Oh, my God. That's crazy. It was a simpler time. And then you bust out like a deep Seinfeld reference. Woo! That's how you. That's the way to my heart. Every once in a while, somebody will message me and be like, July 3rd. I'm like, oh, my oh, God. Oh, you got that right. Put it in my ass. Or whatever it is. So we, we bonded then. I remember that was, uh, you were on the phone with your girlfriend. And be like, we got a big patch of ice. I got to get off the phone. And I remember like, what? Are you, what? Yeah. One of the worst lies I've ever heard in my life. Yeah, yeah. I couldn't get off the phone with her. Yeah, it was tough. And then you're like, we take turns driving. I'm like, that's ridiculous. 
You were like, there's four of us. We're each taking a turn. I'm like, it's 200 miles. <laughs> <laughs> we have to each drive one hour. And then you're like, whoa, I got a big patch of ice ahead of me. Yeah. I'm like, we're doing 70. It would be here before you know it. Right, right. Well, I was scraping the barrel of, of excuses because I did a lot of these. Like, all right, that'll do it. Yeah, got it. Duly noted. I remember Copy like, that. This guy's crazy. <laughs> I was out of lies. And then I, eventually ice. I was like, hey, my safety's in jeopardy here. He's fatty. I got to go, you, you pig. So. It was like two hilarious lies. I would take turns driving, and there's a big patch of ice. Yeah, yeah. Oh, good stuff. She hated me. Oh, boy. I think she hated me, too, but actually. Hated she thought me. you hated her. Is that right? Yeah, you get this a lot with ladies. Oh, I liked her. Remember we went to Coney Island? That was a good time. Oh, yeah, yeah. She The whole time, she's like, oh, she pulled me to the side of the bathroom. Uh, what do I do? What do I do wrong? <laughs> Did I make fun of his dick? Did I say his dad was gay? What is, what's he mad about? Well, I'd like both those things. We had rum and cokes and big gulps. We rode the bumper cars. We were on bumper cars together with you got rum that and right. cokes. Yeah, I can't believe we fit <laughs> with those fun. gamps. Oh, yeah. Look how long these legs are. Jesus. Um. Anyways, that was fun. So we get in the car, we're driving, we're having a bunch of laughs. We get to the hotel. The next morning, we get up, we go to the ball game, get to Indianapolis, and I love the pageantry of college football. You gotta love Padge. Particularly, oh, I just blew a snout on the microphone. <laughs> I'll take it. But particularly a neutral site game. Neutral because, site? Because we're not in, it's Iowa versus Michigan. We're not in Ann Arbor. We're not in oh, Iowa City. We're in Indy. Side. So You're what Switzerland. you have, you got... Tons of people from both schools coming. Ooh. It's like a war. Ooh. And everyone's got their colors on. And every, I was doing a fun gag. Every time we'd walk by Iowa, people, I'd go, go Hawks. And they'd be like, hey, Hawks. And I'd walk by Michigan. I'd go, go Blue. And they'd go, yeah. Yeah, I do that with politics. It was a fun rile and I was getting everybody going. Yeah, come on. Yes. Just bumping the whole thing. Very exciting. Fun. So <clears throat> we did that. We walk around Indy, and it's really fun. We're shitting on the homeless people. We're making fun of the bros. There's bros everywhere. Then we go to the steakhouse called Bromeless. St. Elmo's, which is like a famous steakhouse there. I've heard. Yeah, it's a 1902 steakhouse. Good movie. So we wanted to make a reservation. I got a lot of story here. There's going to be a lot. I'm sorry. All right, bring it on. St. Elmo. So Tickle me. We walk up to St. Elmo's. Fire. And we go, Let's make, maybe we'll make a reservation. And I'm telling him, like, you don't understand college football. We're not getting a reservation. The it's, town's packed. Because that's the college football. That, that's part of it. You yeah. go get a steak. You have a whiskey. Oh, you have a cigar. Right? It's, it's part of the thing. It's man night. It's manly. It's old tradition. Yes. You hear that, Elliot Page? So we go up She's there. a man. He's a man. Oh. So uh, we'll cut this. All right. So we get to I got to go. She's a listener. <laughs> um, he. Fuck. See? Damn it's it. not easy. Damn it. Juno. He's, he's got a 12-pack, too, by the way. He's a real hot hot piece of ace, this uh, little boy. No kidding. Oh, yeah. I'll I'd you, fuck I'll, him. I'll take a look. Well, anyone can get fucked now. Chuck's got knee-deep in pussy. I know, and he's trans. Uh, yeah. All right, continue. It's Sorry, too heavy. It's wilder hot beast. and heavy. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> so we... Where are we? Oh, we go to St. Elmo's. Yes, Elmo's fire. So you're going to hate this guy. I got a lot of guys you're going to oh, hate. Oh, good. I love people I hate. So they got a little, um, the, the fucking, what's Booth. this thing right here? No, outside, this thing with the, uh, that you open it. Uh, the red velvet it's rope. A red velvet rope. <laughs> and they got this. <laughs> $10,000 pyramid, I'm telling you. They got a pimple standing in front of it. A this pimple? Guy, he's, no, oh, pimple. pimple. Oh, I thought they got to hire a pimple. Nobody wants to work. No, so we got... He's one of these guys with his pants and jacket are different colors. Like, he's dressed nice, but he's got, like, tan pants, blue jacket or whatever. Mm. I hate that two-tone suit horse shit. Yeah, two-tone. It sticks. Tommy, two-tone. You get one tone, I'm sorry. Yeah, or three. Can't tone, go two. Tone low. So, <laughs> he's there, and he's Muscle got tone. this hair where it's, like, sl combed, slicked, but then curls. Oh, the comb slick curl! <laughs> CSC. It's, it's, it's horrendous. Oh, it's yeah. Like fine it's tooth tough. comb back to here, and it's a pile of curls in the back. Yeah, I've seen that. It's a bad look. Oh, it's disgusting. Now, was he thinning? No thin. Full Interesting. Head. Full, full swoop and curl. Because a lot of guys will thin, but they want to hold on to what they got. Right. So they, they curl yeah. it in the back, but this guy just in need of a, a shape up. Oh, he sucked. And he was like hipstery and like tall. Queef. He was just a queef of a man. Queef man. And so, and so, and so we walk up, and he go. He he's stepping in front of people. It's like they told him, like, "Hey, you stand out here or whatever." Uh -huh. And he really is like, "Okay, I'll do it." Right. So he's like, "Up, up, up!" Like this. He's that guy. Like I was here first. No, he's he works. There. Oh, he's a host. He's the host guy. 
And so he, gee, I hate these jeans. What's that pants we like? The ad that we have. Public rec. Yeah, I gotta. I forgot my public recs. We're these recommending pants public rec. Up my ball sack. Oh yeah. So, you ever read any Balzac? No, but it's a great name. <laughs> Such a fun name. Maybe we should read them. Let's try them out. That would be a good queef. We read Balzac and try to decipher it. I'm telling you, you can't follow that name though. It's like a movie title where you go, holy shit, and you see the movie, you're like, that sucked. But there's like busts of them in France. Really? must be good. Oh, yeah, I've seen busts. I don't think see a bust of ball sack. <laughs> it's a ball sack bust. Ball sack I'm bust. telling you. All right. I've seen a ball sack bust in Paris, and uh, we'll read. We'll both read a uh, chapter, and then we'll try to tell the other one what it's about or something Because, yeah, it's going to be uh, tough, tough sledding. What's up with Ball State? That's where Dave Letterman went. It's Whoa! in Indianapolis. Oh, it's all coming around. Yes, we drove by Ball State. All right. It's a good well, insurance. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we are Ball State. Um, so we walk up to the queef. He goes, whoa, 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 whoa. And then uh, we immediately hate the guy, of course. And Louis's like, uh, hey, we're going to see about making a reservation. He goes, well, maybe if you want to have dinner at 9 o'clock. Because uh, <laughs> it's, it's a busy night. Yeah. And I knew it was going to be busy, but I hated the attitude. Hate the tude. So he's like, if you want to have dinner at 9, <laughs> yeah. we're too busy for you, you fuck. And so we go, ah, that's all right. We'll go check it out. Yeah, you got the, Well, the problem with that is the joy. They enjoy that. It's like, wait, okay, my night's ruined. We're having a bad night. We need something to happen. It's not happening, and you get off on it. That's what's weird. Ah, he's a stinker. He's a real zilch, this guy. So we go, well, Pimple. we're going to go check it out. And he goes, well, check it out if you want, but it ain't going to happen. Ah, uh, this guy's a ball sack. So then we walk in. It's about 2 o'clock p.m. We want to make a reservation for 5, 6. Oh, this is already pretty responsible. I thought you just walked up at, you know, 5. No, no, we're going to make a res. So okay. we walk in. And now we go, hey, what's the deal with tables? She goes, well, we're booked until nine, unless you want to eat right now. So both of us look at each other out of spite. We're like, let's go eat steak. Yes. We went and force fed ourselves to steak at yes. two o'clock in the afternoon because <laughs> we hated this goddamn queef. Yes. He's a queef of a man. And so we had just eaten. What'd you say? Spite steak. steak. Yes, exactly. A spike steak. So we went, I mean, we're both like, well, I'm full. We had yeah. eaten fucking Burger King like a half hour earlier. And we go, well, whatever. I don't, I'm not walking back past that guy and have him do a told you so. No, no, but I hope you showed him. Hey, Dick, let's look at that big old T-bone. Ah. Well, so we go, give us two right now ASAP. We go back there, and it's this beautiful old steakhouse. It's like a bar. I like to drink it like a man. I wanted a whiskey and a cigar and a woman. Silent relapse. So we go in there, and it's a nice big place, and I'm sure someone's going to get mad at me, but this place stinks what's that stinks out loud i thought it was nice saying out nice place oh bad grub we go in there it's grub chill. first of all it's freezing and we're not like old men or anything there's like a vent just freezing cold air and then you're gonna mm. hate this too Made a drafty rest the waiter was nice good guy good waiter he's got the suit i mean this is a, 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 a first class place supposedly white jacket black jacket um ah, not my fave not to be confused with a flak jacket i like a white so he comes up and he does this. This infuriates me. I mean, this is like a, a fucking Kirby Enthusiasm episode. He goes, hey, we do our steaks a little rarer here. Ah, uh, what so is So medium that? is medium rare and rare is me whatever conglomerate of words. It's like venti and grande. Just it's, give me a medium. That's what I said. It was like Elaine at the movie theater going, there is no small. This small, small is medium, medium is large. Well, what's the smallest one? That's kids. Do adults ever order kids? Not usually. Yes. That's what it felt like. That's right. So it's, it's time to gum. order the temperature, and I go, all right, well, I like medium rare, so should I get medium? He's like, you should get medium rare plus. Oh, man. Like it's a streaming service. This is a curb. It's crazy. Medium rare plus. And so Louis's like, well, I want mine medium. Yeah. And he's like, well, medium's light or medium's heavy or whatever. He's like trying to describe him like, why don't you just catch up and adjust? Yes. Adjust to every other they fucking steakhouse ever. I'm going to have the Amazon Prime rib. All right. That was so, going all off your TV thing. Ah, I got you. All right. Uh, so, Wasn't worth it. I go, yeah, I guess whatever. I go, just tell me, give me what regular medium rare is at a regular restaurant. Yes. You know what medium rare at every other restaurant ever established? I want that, whatever you guys call it. And they must have this conversation 20,000 times a day. It's like we could re fix this. We could rectify the situation if you just got your shit together. It's kind of like when people go, oh, actually, I'm polyamorous, uh, twist-tied, dick-cheese, uh, lesbian, paramorphic. <laughs> And you're like, wait, what? They're like, they just gotta, they gotta be different. They gotta have a, uh, they gotta have one over on you. 
It's a whole thing. I couldn't stop laughing because Louie's getting pissed. The more pissed he's getting, the more I'm laughing. Sure. And th- meanwhile, he's paying for the $800 meal. I'm just on a free ride. So right. I'm just howling, laughing at the whole thing. But the queef of a man, they know what they got. They know it's St. Elmo's. Oh, I know. you had to have the big salad. So they know that I, I can have the slick with the curls. I can be a queef of a man. And I can have a medium rare plus diner. This, uh, the whole thing was a mess. Then So then I'm hearing the waiter give the same spiel to all the people. And I, every time I hear it, I'm just dying laugh I could not stop laughing because he's like just a heads up our medium and everyone's going so a medium is what he's yeah. like a medium is, I'm like it's mind blowing that you guys have been doing this for 117 years or 120 years whatever it is well ours is a little different oh so what does it mean how does it how does it differ I'm like you guys suck yeah anyways man. then his steak comes it's like bleeding red and he's like this is the wrong thing I want it cooked for more then it comes back it's a charred brick oh, it was a whole thing they're losing business now because they gotta send back now tables aren't opening up ironically it's not lunch it was bad lunch but uh, we got to a real fuck you to the guy oh then I'm leaving yes and the slick curl guy curls he's standing there still still blocking people and I go uh, pardon me and he goes whoa <laughs> scared the shit out of me <laughs> That's go, my move. I go, what profession are you? Yes. What kind of, you're working at a restaurant, like a high class restaurant, you're just yelling shit? Wow. He's you like, were- you scared the shit out of me. He's like, you got right in my ear. <laughs> and I was like, what is this, the south side of Chicago? He works like, in Indianapolis. I was like, got in your ear. You're standing in the, fu- I can't get out. I said, pardon me. Whoa, easy, big fella. <laughs> It was insane. We hated this man so much. Slick curls. And when Louis gets mad, there's nobody funnier ever. Oh, really? He's not being funny. He's just, he's not saying funny things. Right. He's just livid. And I, I just, I was fucking howling. We, so we lost about 400 bucks in the thing. We were both hungry. We went and got hot dogs at the stadium. Jesus Christ. Which was well, delicious, I might It's add. principle. Good slick curls can eat a dick and uh, medium rare plus minus. Fuck you. So I never even got to the douchebag at the game. That was another douche. That, I, I, I started this douche and went on to another douche. All of dick. I mean, I start to think maybe I'm the common denominator, but I think America just sucks. That's a little of both. Uh, <laughs> well, so far, you haven't contended with any of these people. No, right? I'm with you so far. I mean, a woman that starts a performance by going, oh, yuck, it's not even reusable. She sucks. That's Hope, not me, yeah. right? Hope she dies. Okay, She's that's the worst. not me. Then I got a guy who combs his hair back to a curl. <laughs> well, I mean, that doesn't mean you're a bad guy. All right, but he's still he's standing in front. And he's he's taking joy yes. in the not letting us in. Don't like the joy take. <laughs> so where's the and, joy? And he's saying shit in a professional environment when he says I scared him. <laughs> when he's standing, he's standing in the hallway. No, I'm with you there, sloppy. So he does suck, right? He, he stinks, and this is only three sucks out of all of America. And the temperature system is b- bullshit, right? What do you mean? The, the fucking our medium oh, medium rare yeah, and their yeah. medium rare is medium hot. It's horse shit. It's all it's medium horse shit. That stinks. Everyone thinks that stinks. I'm it sorry. Stinks. It's no good. So this guy. Oh, jeez. <laughs> sorry, God, you scared me there. So then, shit. so then we go to the ball game and the, and the game, the pageantry is just off the charts, off the charts. The band, pageantry. the marching band, the cheerleaders, they're doing flips. I love it. And dual color, and that, that corner is going crazy. This corner is going crazy. And every time they start a chant, they start a chant. Yes. And we're surrounded by Michigan, so we just adopt. Yeah, we're Michigan fans. What the fuck? Why the hell not? So we're screaming. We're yelling the whole thing. But then there's these guys behind us. I hated this man. Big, fat, bloated, bright red. Not unlike Chuck. He's all gross. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. That one you didn't get to laugh, so I feel bad. <laughs> I'm only kidding. This is a big, fat piece of shit. Uh, red face, fucking douchebag. Oh, you yeah. Glasses and beard like yours, though. Ah, uh, shit. Yeah, it's a bad look. Yeah, but, that's right. <laughs> I'm kidding. Anyways, he was a big douche. And he's doing this. Let's get it. Let's go, Brandon. Chant. Let's go. Oh, let's go, Brandon. Oh, he's that guy. He's like, let's get it going. And can I just say, there's so much. I, I hate both sides, but all this stuff. Liberals got to make everything political. And I'm like, we're at a football game. Everyone's having fun. Right. You're trying to start a political uh-huh. chant here. You're I the see. asshole. You're making it political. Right. Nobody's thinking about any of this. Nobody's talking. He says, let's start. And I can, I can, we can hear him because he's like, you guys are going to chant too. I don't want to look like an idiot, right? Ooh. We're going to try, try to get it going. He thinks the stadium's going to do a let's go Brandon chant. Yeah. And so he, do, him and his three buddies do it like four times. By the way, it's like second down and five. It's not like in between anything. Yes, yes. The game's happening. And he's like, let's take a time out and do a let's go Brandon. Right. How about we enjoy the game? We're here. We're in it. I know. And he's decked out in the gear. He's got his ears pierced and a mohawk or whatever. Yeah, bad Chuck. So he stinks. Then he starts doing this. The Iowa quarterback's number seven. So he goes, number seven has lady hips. That's Ooh, fun. Okay, great. Funny okay, line. Okay. Sure. Whatever the fuck. I mean, it stinks to begin with. Yeah, so does he. He does this. 
for four full quarters. Wow. Every time they're on the field, lady hips. Uh, Here comes lady hips. You get a two of them, maybe. Two max. And I want to go again with the lady hips. HBO Max. Write some material. We got two comics here. Yes. You're a piece of shit. Just How lady did, hips. It's hilarious. He's thinking of these zero zilch lines behind one of the great comics of all time. It's hilarious. He has no idea. He's dropping bad material in front of uh, the comedy god. I mean, you could have said two great comics. I well, mean, I'm talking about here. legends. You're on on my couch. Uh, I'm working on it. All right, we're getting there. That's you got a, nice a special couch. coming out. Yeah, well, a few months. Yeah, shooting tomorrow. Shooting tomorrow. Got to write. I got to write new material. So I'm not going to release this thing till August of 2025. Oh, is that you're going to pull a Mackey? I mean, I got to have some material. I got shows. Well, what are you going to? 45. It's about 53-ish Ooh, or something That's like a that. lot. You're giving away a lot there, Sloppy. Well, you switched sides of the argument here. Well, I just I thought you were doing a half-hour special a while back. Nah, I don't know what I'm doing. Who knows? All right, all right. Sorry Anyways, I brought it up. Game was great. The guy sucked. Just lady hips. Lady hips. Like, just write something new, you douchebag. Yeah. And he's one of these guys. Oh, because we were so close, he's yelling to the coach. Hey, Jim. Jim. Sub out nine for 12. He kept yelling that because they got two quarterbacks. Oh, nine for 12. And you want to go, they're winning. Yes. You don't know what you're talking about. Right. You don't, you're the, the change the quarterback guy is the worst guy in all of sports. Yeah. Take out Brady. He's having an off. Shut right, up. Right. Shut up. You know what's good to do with those guys? And this is a little bit of joy in this is when they're doing that and you can tell they're dying for you to look back and be like, and just give them nothing. Just it was stone fun. them. It was fun. You just want to go. We got it. Lady hips. Yeah. He's got lady hips, right? Got it. Oh, you don't like the joke? No, no. He just said it 48 times. No, it was, it was funny once. Exactly. It wasn't even funny once, obviously, but mm. we got to wrap up. I'm looking at the clock here. We're way over time. Did we he have it. a pal? He had a few pals, four pals. They weren't as bad as him. Yeah, you start to wonder, what are they thinking? Do they go home and they go, fucking Reggie, huh? I think they were just stuck with him from high school. That's the thing. Ah, it's one of those guys. Well, I you guess know. With Chuck. Yeah. I hear you. Yeah, it was one of those deals. But anyways. All right. I've talked too much. I got more to be continued. Well, we got uh, we got more we got more uh, pods to do. We got a lot of eps coming out in the future. We got Chuck here. We got a lot of stuff cooking. You got a special in the works. Netflix coming out in uh, December 20- 29th. And, uh, yeah, we'll be on the road. Where are you going to be, Sloppy Jalopy? I got a bunch of stuff coming up. January uh, 15th, Vancouver. I don't know the venue. I'll figure it out. But you can figure it out. January 16th, Laughs in Seattle. That's a one night only. I should have brought my book. Oh, oh nice. I have a book. It's over there. Uh, uh, I'm in Dallas at the end of January 22nd, 23rd, something like that. And uh, Boston, Laugh Boston, that's Patriots Day weekend. That's not till April, but that'll be something. Hell yeah. And I'm um, back at Side Splitters in March in Tampa. So Side Splitters, Laugh Boston in April, Laughs in Seattle, January 16th. And Vancouver, January 15th. Subscribe to my YouTube. The special will be on there. I need those subscribers. I put up a best of the You Know What Dude uh, oh, from Skankfest. I watched it. It's doing Killer. Well. Oh, thanks. Killer. Yeah, that was big. So and many so, great lines. Please subscribe. Go watch that. Watch that stuff. Tits, Hell yeah. Tits on my mother. All right, all right, all right. Toronto coming up. Charlotte this weekend. Atlanta. Might be a couple tickets left. Milwaukee for New Year's. That's going to be tough. Oof. Kansas City. Uh, Sacramento coming up, uh, the punchline, Syracuse, and check it out to lunch on YouTube. Oh, I'm forgetting a big one here. I'm doing slide splitters in March. So we got a lot of stuff coming to MarkNormanComedy.com. Tell a friend, queef it up, praise Allah, comedy.